With 90 Day Fiancé launching Love in Paradise, the Caribbean, many fans were reminded of the season 8 star Stephanie Davison, and we're here to talk about why she's been so quiet on Instagram lately. Stephanie had failed vacation romances with Ryan Carr and Harris Flowers, a controversial cast member since her debut, Stephanie, 52, shocked fans with her age gap and her youth serums. Some fans thought she looked high during scenes in Belize with Ryan, 27. Stephanie was uninvited from the tell all and later made shocking claims about her storyline being fake. She hasn't posted on IG since June 16. While many viewers figured that Stephanie's relationship with Ryan was doomed, the Michigan resident Stephanie later revealed that they broke up before 90 Day Fiancé filming began. Fans speculated that Mike Youngquist and Natalie Morditseva had a fake relationship, but it was Stephanie, Ryan, and Harris who ended up fooling them. According to Stephanie, she was asked to continue appearing on the show despite the breakup, and she gladly did, as it helped her to promote her business. Stephanie tried to clear up all the rumors about her controversial storyline after her 90 Day Fiancé season 8 ended. According to Stephanie Davison, Harris was on her back burner when she called him to come and film with her. Her on-screen drowsiness was reportedly due to the medication she took after being bitten by sandflies. Stephanie showed a different side with Sofa Talk. On Instagram, after posting her Sofa Talk with Steph IGTVs, which were about two hours long, Stephanie took to living an influencer life. She modeled pretty dresses and startled followers because she looked so young for a 52-year-old. The star introduced her personal protection dog, who cost $20,000, to her feed. Stephanie also revealed that she was legally still engaged to Ryan and alleged that 90 Day Fiancé producers are involved in creating dramatic storylines. Stephanie is asked to retract false COVID-19 claims. Stephanie was criticized for making dubious health claims about the services offered at her non-surgical weight loss and wellness clinic, after which the Michigan Attorney General sent her a notice of intended action. The notice included the statement, It appears you are attempting to profit from the COVID-19 pandemic by exaggerating the benefits of Sir Morlin. Following this, Stephanie shared a photo of herself looking into a mirror. It was captioned, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who has the truthful story every time, after all. Me. As per Detroit News, Stephanie addressed the allegations while talking to a follower in the comments. She claimed, I have never promoted my shots are a cure for anything. Stephanie, who has had a lot of highs and lows, also offered a $10,000 reward to anyone who would find the alleged statements she made in the May 2021 post. She then took an Instagram break. Stephanie's surprising social media sabbatical. Stephanie returned in June 2021 and made her last post, where she could be seen wearing Kim Kardashian's skirt. The skirt, which Stephanie had purchased from the Kardashian closet, had been priced at $2,500. Fans insisted Stephanie wouldn't fit into one of Kim's garments. Some TLC viewers judged Stephanie for bragging about having bought a famous person's unwanted skirt. It's been weeks since the post, which also had fans telling Stephanie that they missed her posts and were glad to see her back on social media. During her sofa talk with Steph Confessional, Stephanie revealed that her post comments are monitored by a social media team that keeps criticism in check. 
It's possible that Stephanie wants to stay away from criticism for a while until 90 Day Fiancé fans move on to other things. The controversial Stephanie from season 8 of May be planning a reality TV comeback, as she appears to have a manager now and also had another person handling interview requests, as per her IG bio. Given that she has over 154k followers after her 90 Day Fiancé stint, Stephanie may not abandon the account. However, a social media break may have helped her to sort out issues, and she'll probably be posing with her Maseratis again soon.